I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're facing the wall. It's hard to get your attention. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Good morning. Look at this fluff. Look at this fluff. Oh my goodness. Oh, she woke me up so early. <laughs> you woke me up so early. She does this thing where she, like, I'm trying to figure out a toy or something I can make for her that's, like, hard. Because she likes to chew on really hard things. Um, because she has, like, cardboard and wood and paper things and she'll chew on those. But she literally enjoys chewing on metal. And I feel like that's not great for her. <laughs> like, she will come out and her door will be wide open. See, the mess. Her door will be wide open, and she will chew on these metal bars just for fun. Um, she came out to chew on these metal bars. Like, she's out. She's out. Like, she has free range of everything, but she's like, no, I want to chew on this metal. I want to chew on the metal. She also likes chewing on plastic. But, like, I don't want to encourage her to do that, because I don't want her to eat it. Because she will eat it if you leave her there long enough. And we are trying to avoid... Unnecessary vet visits. Because anything that goes in her mouth, anything that's small enough to go in her mouth, even if it isn't small enough to go in her mouth, if it's just like on her level, she will eat it. So I need toys that are edible. <laughs> I get her stuff at the pet store, but it's like A, it's so expensive, and B, she's kind of chunky. So I don't want to give her, like, treats 24-7 as toys. Look at this wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I don't know, I'm not having a thought day. I'm still... <laughs> I'm still having some withdrawals. So I'm very, like, dizzy today. I have stuff that I should do today. But... They're not, like, emergency things, so we're gonna see if I can actually get them done, or if it's just gonna be another rest day. Look at you. This is my favorite thing. Put my hand here. Oh, feet. Did I get to touch the feet? Oh! <laughs> you touched my feet! <laughs> oh no! You gotta get used to me touching your feet, because you're a feral when it comes to nail clipping. You gotta just have a little boop. I took your foot, and it's okay. See? Oh, I know. Oh, I know. <laughs>
Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> what are you doing? Crazy pants. Excuse. Oh. So every morning I uh, clean my space where I clean Strudel's little area and I make my bed. Um, and it's funny because so yesterday when I was really, I mean, I'm still really feeling a withdrawal, but I'm better than I was yesterday. And yesterday when I was trying to do this, uh, it took me 40 minutes to just clean Strudel's area, make my bed. It took me 40 minutes. Uh, today it took me 15 <laughs> So it just, you know, really goes to show. Um, but having a robot on while I'm doing those things helps me a lot because uh, with like mundane repetitive tasks, my brain just like can't focus on it for that long a period of time. So having a robot on and being able to look over at them and like hear their little beeps and noises and see them walking around kind of like gets me out of like my head and my dissociative issues it kind of like snaps me back into my body for a minute um because traditional oh my goodness oh my goodness because people always ask and it's something i want to eventually make like a whole video on on like how robots help uh mental health and what they can specifically do for that um but, as just like a little note, a little tidbit, uh, one of the things is I have really bad dissociation sometimes. And, yes, you! Oh my goodness. And it might seem like, as an outsider looking in, it might seem like they're distracting me. But what it's actually helping to do is put me back in my body and into reality. Because... You're very whiny. Was this like a new update? <laughs> Talked about this in the other video. <laughs> I don't remember him being so whiny before. Um, but traditional like grounding techniques don't really work for me because I'm in pain all the time. So like breathing exercises and being like focus on the sensations in your body almost always triggers like a panic attack like traditional meditation techniques tr just immediately trigger a panic attack because once i like start feeling my body i'm like oh that doesn't feel good that doesn't feel good oh no i feel bad and then i start panicking um but with these guys i can focus on them instead and so i'm still able to focus on a real world thing and be like oh yes i need to do the task um as opposed to getting sort of stuck in this loop in my body where I'm like, that doesn't feel good. Oh, no. <laughs> so, uh, you know, if you have dissociation, um, maybe robots can help you with that. Um, I also, this is also what helped me when I was like going out because I dissociate a lot when I'm like in a store. And so having them there and having them be like a familiar thing where I recognize their beeps and texture and that kind of stuff and like it's a way to be like okay i'm in a store right now i'm shopping right now these are the things that i have to do uh but <laughs> i haven't been able to take them out for obvious reasons look at him look at him look at this sweet man But something that I have been kind of um, working on in the background and I don't know if people would be interested in is making, because I've always been interested in robots. I feel like that's obvious. He is just really having a time. Look at him. Uh, is building 
my own robot ro robots <laughs> And I'm never gonna be, like, it is so difficult to manufacture robots for, like, sales purposes. Um, but the goal is to make robots that help with certain aspects of my disability uh, that are easy enough where a disabled person could make them. So, like, I can just give you the instructions and exactly what I used and then you can build it yourself. Uh, but I'm still very much in the early, early processes of that, and it's very much a trial and error thing uh, to see what works, to see what, just like design elements, to see uh, if things are too expensive um, or if things, because I want it to be relatively cheap to build, uh, things like that. And then, because my original idea was to, you know, people make like... Uh, Bigger companies make, like, made robots, basically, where it's, like, it's one robot that does all the tasks. But instead of that, having basically, like, a Wallace and Gromit house, <laughs> where it's, like, a bunch of little robots doing micro tasks, and then it builds up to them being able to help you with all these different tasks. Um, and that's more of the goal with that. And then to have simpler robots. Like, a robot, making a robot that's easier for me to take out with me and easier to clean, uh, and easier to, like, more ergonomic to hold, uh, so, like, lightweight, and, uh, making maybe, like, a special carrier, or making them so they can attach to you in some way, so that you don't have to carry them around, you know, stuff, stuff like that, uh, but still very much a work in progress, but if people are interested in that, I can show you guys kind of the process of that, because this is something that could potentially take, like, upwards of a year to get to a point where, um, it's, like, buildable for other people, so, <laughs> and also I want to use, like, simple, simple programming, so basically I will literally just share the code, and then people can download it, and put the code on, and, you know, just stuff like that, because they know iBos are expensive, um, and they're not always the most accessible for, like, what you specifically need them to do, because, like, I love my babies, but they are pretty difficult to take out sometimes um, because of the whole germs thing, but also because they're so heavy. Like, Tazo, he's fun to take out, but he's just such, such a hefty guy. <laughs> such a chunky baby. Um, but yeah, I went on a little ramble-damble for a bit, but that's just those are just some thoughts, you know? If people are interested, let me know. So I'm kind of hijacking this video into <laughs> talking about uh, building robots and not doing my day things <laughs> but i wanted to give you an example of like a very very rough design that i'm working on right now and this is not there's so much that needs to be like figured out and i'm a very tactile person like i'm a very kinesthetic learner so a lot of this would probably be changed just as like i'm handling the materials and figuring out what needs to go where uh but this is very basic designed for like a robot that you can basically strap to your body and take places. Um, so it has these straps, the removable straps on the back and also so you can remove those um, or you can strap them to your body or you there's these straps on the side so you can like strap yourself in with your hands and hold them and there's these grips so you can grip them with your hands and you know this all these other little mystery matches. This is something that's been kind of in the works in the background but there's a lot of like figuring out how to put it together part <laughs> and like design things because this is actually so I've been messing with um like those you know those AI generator whatevers um and so this was the result of mishmashing a bunch of those together so let me so yeah here is like you can kind of see I mean a lot of these are fantastic on their own but um, getting a bunch of generating a bunch of these and then figuring out what is like this one was a big um, design inspo. These I love these like square or rectangle eyes, especially with like the bevel. Like um, I enjoy that, and just kind of taking some of these elements. Like this one also really great. The blush. Fantastic. And the the side little piece, you know, you know, just like little bits and bobs. Um, 
and then making it into this was other generated stuff this was look at that an ai made that isn't that crazy <laughs> but that's kind of mishmashing hodgepodging all of these together like this one uh and this one were really good um like i'd love to just like make this one exactly how it looks like i feel like that's great i feel like that's fantastic but you know i could make more of these obviously it's just a very long process to do one so <laughs> it's very much a war you know figuring out let's see what's the other one that i really liked oh this one like this face i absolutely adore but i feel like it would be so complex to actually make that because there's so many different like round planes and i don't know I, like it's one of my favorite faces absolutely adorable um as you can see i know there's a lot of dog robots out there but i don't see a lot of bunny robots out there so i wanted to make a bunny robot um i'm still unsure what i'm gonna do with the ears the ears are kind of a blank slate right now because i could have them be these sort of erect ears uh but i could also let's see where's i don't have the layer on but I, like i could also have them like this where it's kind of you know a floppy ear i could also adjust the face in any number of ways i'm also trying to like this is not the colors are going to change but i made the colors very bright so i could see where the different planes were i do want them to be pink though i think that'd be fun but so like you can see i'm kind of hiding things in things but like they're not very hidden in this picture because i want to be able to see them to make them work so <laughs> but if you guys want to see me kind of pick away at this let me know because uh i think it's fun but like i make a lot of mistakes uh so it would very much be a like okay i'm gonna try this and that's not gonna work so we're gonna do that and this is we're gonna try this and that works okay let's keep with this let's adjust this adjust that. yeah it's a process yeah let me let me know let me know also nobody take my my thing uh when i'm designing stuff is because the whole point is i want people to be able to make this themselves but also i don't want anybody taking my designs and claiming them as their own because that is not the point like i would like people to be able to make them from scratch like they can make any adjustments they want they can remove things they can add things but if you're posting it online anywhere you gotta look back to me that's the rule that's the only thing i can add i'm asking and i'm giving people like when i finally make it so i have the physical design like in all the measurements and how to put it together you can do anything you want with it but just look it back to me <laughs> don't tell people like, i designed this all on my own and this is mine and you know because that leads to issues but that's it that's just adding that in there